Angels may you cross, see mountains white and blue, but on your road, let's not forget the love I have for you. Hello there, Seraphim17 once again. This is my Shadow of Mordor video walkthrough. This is mission 12. This is a very interesting one. The initial mission was called Cry for Havoc, but I died, and then it became unfinished business. And I need to discuss this, so ignore that awful texture. Cry for Havoc has you going into this base, setting off an alarm, and then killing 35 Uruks. It is something that takes quite a long time if you don't have some of the more powerful moves, a la the Devil Trigger mode that gives you unlimited executions, or the ability to chain the drain and the arrow kills which I mentioned, which I don't yet have. So this is me just going to be wrecking some orcs and having some fun. Once this happens, two captains turn up one war chief. I had a 20 minute siege against these motherfuckers where I killed I think both the captains or one of the captains and I completely weakened the war chief. And what ended up happening is a guy who was an unknown captain at the time was in the big crowd of enemies as I was trying to execute the war chief but I ended up doing it on a different target because there's a problem with the game with that and I've already discussed it so I'm not going to go back over it but essentially I got really unfortunate with my execution I should have been closer to him apparently the game said no and as I came out of it I got hit by a spear and the spear was off screen an unknown captain didn't even see him he turned up he just threw a spear at me it put me into the, the second chance mode and the game never gave me the ability to, to put the input in. It just killed me, and he got a promotion. <laughs> and I can't hide this stuff, guys, because you can't restart checkpoint unless you abort mission, and when you die, I think the game already saves. And the reason it doesn't have a restart checkpoint is because it wants you to live with your mistakes. Its entire hierarchy, this entire economy of, of the Nemesis system works on you dying. And it's, it's a super useful thing. And speaking of, I just nearly died then. And I think what happens is I think you can do that three times without it giving you no input and then it just kills you. I also think there are certain captains and war chiefs who supersede that animation who just kill you. I'm not 100% on this guys because I've not played too much of this game as much as I enjoy it. But that's what happens anyway and what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you me killing the 35 dudes to get the war chief to turn up and then I'm going to show you the mission it gave me post humus. I post humorously. And one of the ways to do this if you don't want to fight is to just climb up, lose their uh, tension, and then do stealth kills on them. It's a very fast way of killing people. Additionally, if you have the ability to stock executions and do more than one, you'll strip these people really fast. I want to talk about an achievement here, and that's pretty close to it right there. Berserkers on this game are the guys with the double axes. They are... They've generally got the Braveheart war paint on that Mel Gibson has in said film. And there's an achievement for setting one on fire and then executing it. And there's an ability on this game to set people on fire with your bow. It's a, a special move that you can do when your combo's high enough. I did it dozens of times to that creature and it didn't register. So technically that description should change to say it sets them on fire but it's not real fire because it doesn't count as fire when you need fire. Which I think is bullshit and it really frustrated me. So instead what I did is I grabbed one of the berserkers, I threw him into a fire and then I immediately stabbed his ass and that's how I got the achievement. So if you're having any trouble or you're trying to use the bow to do it, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, doesn't seem to work which I think is... Stupid. And this is a feature that I'd like to turn off too. I, I really like the idea of the introductions, but why can't you skip them? It doesn't make any sense. There are moments where the game tells you that the enemy is weakened and running away, and in the animation, he's running away. So he's getting extra distance on you, and I'm waiting to chase him down. It's like, I fucking know he's running away. That's why I shot the wasps. Like, come on, game. Let me play. But here is the dude, anyhow, who I failed to kill. You'll notice he's a bitch. When you isolate him, he's absolutely simple. He's completely vulnerable to all the moves I want to do to him. There's the flurry, and he's dead. So it's a very simple mission. I just got myself in, in a shitstorm really quickly. But hopefully you'll, you'll not have any problems and you'll kill him like this on the first iteration. You'll not need to do the unfinished business. But there goes his head. There is the terrible graphics on the decapitation. 
can't even begin to tell you how much better that stuff looks on the other consoles. It looks so fucking godly. But there is our, our epic room, and that is the end of the mission. So thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.